Hey guys, welcome back. So, uh, what are we gonna be doing today? I want to take the Humvee across the river. Across the river? Okay. Yes. Well, that's easy, but how deep? Deep. Really deep? All right, I guess that uh, we're gonna have to check that our deep water fording system works, right? All right. So we don't really have a kit, but we got all of the stuff we need, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start it. So this is the first video in our new series of installing a deep water fording system on our Humvee. This is so exciting, guys, because our Humvee already, uh, because it was a U.S. Marine Corps uh, Humvee, it's probably used to have the system on it. Uh, I found some um, some kind of like uh, marks and signs that I think the deep water forwarding system uh, used to be installed, but um, there's nothing there. Uh, so we do have small things like the caps on the oil, the oil cap that locks. We do have um, stuff like that, but we're missing all of the other parts. So we're gonna start with part one, which is installing our exhaust and then we'll go to all of the other ones we got our snorkel and we got all those nice goodies here we got our that's the snorkel mount we got our uh, valve here as CDR valve and we got our sensor right here which is a, just a plastic box some connections and we got our lever I've been waiting for this one for a while. So I'm not sure if you guys watched our video with uh, the visit at Seco, uh, where we got all the, uh, we got some parts for the Humvee, but the main thing I was excited about was getting this exhaust, deep water fording exhaust. I've been waiting for that for a while. I love the look. I love how it sounds. I just, just love it on the Humvee. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start now. Sorry, Annie, I was talking about you, uh, not the exhaust. You're, you're my precious. Yeah, just, just throw it in there. It's a handy, it can handle it. Look at that. Oh, yes. Bottom, the bottom, the bottom. Good, there is like hardware here. Awesome. Oh. Like it. Awesome. Can't wait to install it and start the engine for the first time and see what happens. <laughs> awesome. Looking good, looking good. All right. And got some other right here. There you go. So I don't know much about um, installing it. Looks like it's uh, pretty straightforward, but um, I don't know. There is not a lot of information about it too. So we're gonna have to just uh, we're gonna have to just go for it and get this one and install it and replace this guy. We got it from God Planet with an exhaust, which is nice, but. Um, I don't know, I think this always used to be here um, and not the deep water fording exhaust, but I did find this, um, I'm not sure if you see it, but I did find that um, support bracket right here that you need that in order to switch your Humvee to uh, support the deep water fording exhaust exhaust which is supporting it so my Humvee already got that I don't know if it's because it's a US Marine Corps one or if it's because it it used to have an exhaust here uh, the long the, the extended one I'm not sure but I got it which I'm happy about it because I don't need to spend uh, money getting it and I think it's just gonna go in here one and two and then everything connects right there so yep there you go all right, so I'm gonna start with getting this disconnected here. And then the support, yeah, we'll go from there. Really, the instructions were not that great, but it is what it is. This is 
so exciting. Our Humvee was re reconditioned and when they did that, they painted the wall underneath. So everything covered with paint. Next one. So yeah, everything is covered with paint here, so, um, which no complaint, There's no complaints is good. It makes it harder to um, pick those bolts off, but looks like it's coming off. Basically the whole thing should come off, I think. It's gonna be a complicated one. All right. Everything is, everything is kind of like uh, glued together a little bit. I don't know if they put like silicone here. It's like there's some silicone, I think. Which I don't know why but it's coming off all right last one came off so now basically i need to there you go pull this off now i can get to this bolt see it a third one and it's off Smells like diesel. What is this? It's probably the seal. Okay, cool. I'm just gonna basically duplicate this. I'm gonna move that to here and I am going to put that seal over here. That's, guys, this seal here, that's a badass seal. I've never even seen anything like that. Pretty cool. So that will go in here. I think they left that after they painted it. I'm gonna get rid of that. Now, this nice seal. Very cool. I'm sure um, someone would know what that that is. I've never seen a seal like that. That's pretty cool. Probably high high temperature resistance or something. Very cool. But uh, yeah, you guys, if you know what the name of this uh, seal or gasket, yeah, just write it down. It's pretty cool. I I actually, I mean, you know, I don't do this stuff for a living, so I don't really. Um, no, but it's pretty cool. Like it. I'll go right here. Awesome. So yeah, we are pretty much ready to go. I think this is where it goes. Alright, so the next one off and now we're gonna go down and clean that over there where the gasket is gonna go all right let's put her in place So we put it here without the spacers. Uh, we did bolt, washer, small washer, which we put big washer, rubber um, spacer, whatever it is, 
we put the large spacer that we have that came with a kit and then big washer and bolt because our kit probably um, came with the ones for the uh, armor on it uh, but we don't need it so we don't need those big spacers to separate the exhaust from the body. All right, so now it should, should work all nicely together. Which we did get that part off so we can get here. Um, the seal is here in the middle. And then I'm going to put this first bolt in. So it's connected. Now this gotta go here somehow. We'll see about that. <laughs> yeah, so trying to get these guys in here. And a little bit stubborn, but I think it's happening. Now. All right, good. Awesome. Now the next part is just the two top ones here. That's a tough one here. You gotta tilt them backward here and then they might might be convinced and actually go in here. There we go. It doesn't work with force. Works with a little more force. <laughs> I'll put that one washer and that. Alright, the last one. Alright, looking good. We got four bolts, eight washers, four nuts into here. Last one. A little bit of a pain to get to, but it's okay. Alright, that's easy in place. Now I just need to get the other part. And that's it. This, this one. I think this is good. The other side. Ready? Let's see what comes out. Stay with us.
us for the next one where we install the snorkel. See you then. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to follow us on the next part. Yeah, the snorkel.